Hey, what's up? Matt Wyatt here. Big win for LSU on the road at Auburn. It's going to break down a few plays from the game, first half, second half, and a little bit of how this happened for LSU, how they wound up getting that second half comeback and kicking the field goal to win the game. Big win for Coach O. All right, second play of the game is the first big play of the game. You got three receivers running just past the first down stick on second and eight. Quarterback rolling on the move and leaves it behind him and it's picked. And there's a lack of being on the same page here, quarterback and receiver. If you look, okay, ball's coming out right now, the exact time that after uh, he lined up number two in a slot, goes outside on the switch and curls right here to come back to the football. Quarterback is throwing the football as if he's, you know, running a curl route, going to come right back to him, step to the inside. But as he's gotten here and curled, now he's going to work out towards the sideline. As he drifts back this way, quarterback throws the ball as if he's breaking and curling to the inside, and that's what allows a uh, cornerback Delpic to uh, jump it and pick it. You see right there that first move is back this way for the receiver. The ball is already gone to the spot where he thought he would be. Ensuing drive, third and 11, got a three-man route. The outside man and the three man's coming across the first down marker. They're going to go underneath with the slot and run off with the guy who's actually the third man inside right there. It's a good route. The protection is obviously key. They keep a tight end in over here on his backside to help, and running back goes backside to help him as well, make him a little more comfortable standing in there on third and long. And the biggest thing is ball comes out on time. You can't really see the route, but he's getting it out before he gets hit. Good timing. Later in the first quarter, Deep in LSU territory, Auburn, a fourth and one. Devin White, one of the best players in college football, uh, right there, certainly one of the best defenders in college football, middle linebacker, blows it up, beats a block of the tackle, gets there, tackle for loss. Now I'll show you how it happened. Look at it uh, first. It's um, a tight end formation with an H-back to this side as well. And he's already kind of pointing out, I think, He's expecting a ball here go here, and they're going to try to power this thing and pull it around there. But what he does is beats a tackle. Center and guard are on the nose, and that means tackle and tight end are on that uh, defensive tackle, but their job is to chip you know, up to the linebacker, so that's him. So the tackle's responsibility is inside shoulder here of the um, what is essentially the three technique, and then up to pick up that linebacker coming in that gap, and he just misses him. So tackles and gaze inside shoulder, already turning his head. He's supposed to look up 40, the middle linebacker. But right here, aggressive to the hole, seeing what's happened, and now he's going to beat the block of the tackle. Nobody there to pick him up. Gets there first, tackle for loss on fourth and one. Just great instinct and speed getting the hole. Tackle is really in the right position. He just can't square him up. And it's a big play, big fourth down stop. Burrow converted another big third and long here, third and 12 in the first quarter. Gets that end break route. You go empty, and he goes to the two-man side and gets the first down on an end break. But really the protection is key here. Watch the offensive line work for LSU. So it's empty, three by two. So you only have five-man protection. They're bringing four. So it's five on four initially. One, two, three. And four, everybody with their hand down coming initially. But you're going to get a fifth to make it five on five. So you got to be sound in your technique. And what's impressive to me, both tackles are doing their job winning one on one to the outside. The other thing is that late fifth coming the linebacker picked up there by the guard, just like he's supposed to. And look at center and guard working here as you, you're trying to cross him up. The guard hands him off, comes back, and picks up uh, right here. So look at that pocket. He's just standing in there, five guys blocking five, just like you're supposed to. One thing you notice about Joe Burrow is he's not the, frankly, the Jarrett Stidham, you know, 25 for 30 uh, kind of guy so far this year for LSU quarterback. But what he is is converting third downs more often than maybe they did in the past. And it's just a threat. You have to respect the ability for him to throw the ball down the field. And it changes the way you have to play against those guys on defense. Auburn trying to run a little pitchback reverse here. 
but because the tight end cannot reach down inside and get that tackle, he blows it up. Forces him deep, and then you get a cleanup there. Again, you go back and look, it's 86, the tight end, right here on the end line of scrimmage, trying to fall down inside because you're pulling here to make it look like everything's going this way. You want the defense to follow. But tight end's job is to get his head in front of that uh, defensive tackle, had his hand down. Can't do it. He gets through. Tight ends lay on the ground, just couldn't get there. Now he's forced to go deep. And this is an unblocked guy on purpose in the backside of the uh, play. But you can't get this outrun to the sideline now because he's been forced deep. So the defensive tackle gets this big tackle for loss on what was a second short yarded situation. Third and 10 for Auburn. Trailing 7 0. It's a straight up speed rush sack off the edge. Tackle can't get there and just beats him to the quarterback. But you look at it, even if he doesn't win, even if he were to get blocked here, they're going to get him another way, and that is uh, straight ahead, two guys hand down, but the stand-up defensive end is going to twist all the way back over the center and not going to be picked up there either. See him there, there. Here comes the twist. It gets through. So even if you don't get here, if quarterback steps up, um, 49 is going to get him, or 45. Here's a first and 10 when Auburn finally got it going offensively in the second quarter where they get 3-4. It looks like quarter, quarter, half, cover two, but it's man, and he throws it in the middle of the field. This is nice recognition quarterback and receiver because pre-snap you got 3-4 here, and all seven of those guys kind of in the box. The secondary alignment, though, is you got a deep safety. you got another here It looks like deep safety, soft corner, which looks like quarter, quarter, half covers with a corner up there they're trying to fool you but the deal is the tell and I think this is something that Stidham probably sees the balls here on the left hash if these were half safeties you know most likely he's a little closer to the hash but because he's all the way out here just on the side of the numbers he's lined up head up this receiver he's head up the receiver and he's head up so what happens is when the route happens you get a little mesh play fake this is uh, everybody's playing run they are letting guys play man-to-man -man everywhere else in that secondary down the field. He sees it, recognizes it, gets the ball out quickly. So it's not a blitz. They're just playing the run here, guess and run on first and 10. And uh, he's got plenty of time to throw it right in the middle of the field. Later on first and 10, uh, it's a field goal game. They take that slant to the wide side of the field. Ball on the right hash, throw the slant to the left. You can kind of see why... Um, Stidham chooses this side. You got two by two, so four receivers. And on alignment, they give you three down and three others in the box. But it's really a nickel because you got head up all four of your guys. And then back here is a free safety standing off screen. So it kind of looks like man free to him. And what he has is he's automatically thinking because of these hard corners on each side. I got something underneath with these guys in soft cushion. So which one are you going to take? The tight end running the little outbreak curl choice route into the boundary or to the wide side of the field, guy running a slant up top. You can see why he chooses it. It's because of the alignment of the defense. Three down, this defender walked up on the line, this defender off. So, I mean, just kind of innately, the chances he gets in your throwing lane on the tight end, much greater than one of these two guys get in the throwing lane of your slant. But it almost happens anyway. The ball comes out so quickly here, but that middle linebacker is dropping. He's trying to get in that throwing lane. But because the ball comes out so quickly, you can get it to him. That's why it's a little bit behind him, is he's keeping the football away from linebacker uh, right here. Uh, and so it kind of is behind him a little bit. But it's a great catch. He's able to catch it, turn it up, make that first down. So that led to Auburn taking the lead, 14-10. They come down, extend it in the third quarter. Uh, goal line play, kind of bunch it up, three by one, play action, throw it back in the middle. The play action really gets uh, everybody here on this side because, you know, strength of your formation over here, so every, all the defenders there, it's designed that way. And what you're going to get is outbreak here, and you're going to get an outbreak going out by the back, too, with the, tight, uh, the fullback kind of mixed in there. So he's this way, he's this way, he's this way, you know, showing that. And then once they see the quarterback has the ball, 
all the flow is this way. You want to cover him and cover him. He's doubled up. You forget about it. You get that slant on the backside. He's uncovered. This is a nice throw to hit him. Good play design, too, on the goal line. Here's a big play for LSU. Two receivers to the wide side of the field, but they're in there on the hash. And the number two guy inside runs that skinny post, gets back there, and you somehow complete it over a guy's head and then outrun the defense. Now, you know, this TV copy doesn't show you a whole lot, but what you do know is there are five DBs, so there's a safety back here off screen on this side. And on the snap of the ball, the other safety's flying out of here to get on top on the outside. And so that's why you get the decision to throw the ball in the middle of the field here on this route. Wish you could see it from behind. You could really tell. And then when you throw it in there, linebacker drops here. Other flew out of there on the snap of the ball to get underneath again because you're on top and on top over here. And uh, it's kind of like that Tampa 2 deal where linebacker's dropping in there. And this is just taking a chance, throwing it to him, and you get it out of the reach of a linebacker. He just happened to catch 24, the safety coming over with his hips turned the wrong way. And this is what ultimately led to LSU getting that field goal, and that is a pass interference out here on the corner. Just one-on-one -on -one trying to throw the go route up top, and you hook his arm, and it's the right call. You know, as a DB, you do have your head turned, you're making a play, but this arm, you know, you can't use that arm to basically hold and, it, and that's the deal. You know, his hand is grabbing the arm, pulling it down there on the receiver. So that's definitely the right call. And then the 42-yard attempt to win it. But if you look what Auburn does, it's a kick that did come out low. And Auburn got way on up there and almost had a chance to block it. But if you look, they're really actually doing something right here that is uh, you, you're not supposed to do. Um, you know, I have one jumping through, okay, and then he gets airborne. But right here, this guy for Auburn, if you look at it frame by frame, he jumps up right here, puts both of his knees on the backs of the LSU players, and basically stands on them. You can see that now. He's basically standing on their shoulders to then get taller to try to block this field goal. All right, there it is. Big win for LSU and Coach O on the road in the SEC. And for Auburn, uh, just a gut punch loss at home because their road schedule, they got to go to Mississippi State, go to Alabama. It's not going to be easy for Auburn the rest of the way. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Radio Wyatt. And Facebook, YouTube. Uh, Matt Wyatt Media, so check me out there. Also, thanks to Renaissance Bank for sponsoring these videos. You got to hit them up over at RenaissanceNation.com. Let them know. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you.